Welcome to part number 28 of Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to show you my brand new drivers that I just hired. So, Maldonado has been fired because I went and hired two-time Formula 1 world champion Fernando Alonso and 2016 Indianapolis 500 champion Alexander Rossi to the team. So we have Fernando Alonso, Kamui Kobayashi, Ryan Vargas, Adrian Fernandez, and Alexander Rossi with one more slot for a, a real life driver. I have to go and find you know them off screen and stuff, which I'll do after this stream and these set of recordings in the stream are complete. So anyways, Gallardo Trophy is next, like I mentioned in the previous segment, and before we do that, let's check out the used car dealership because I've been doing some level and money grinding as you can see. I'm trying to find me an LMP1 car or a Group C car to do the next couple of events. And there's nothing in the dealership. All right. You're out with the dogs? Oh, okay, dude. Um, see ya, man. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All talented drivers? Yes. Yes, they are. So let's go to the dealership real quick. Let's go buy our Lamborghini. Gallardo, I'm not looking forward to this, but this is like the ultimate test. Here it is, LP5640, 2008. And let's get it in Giallo Halis, however you pronounce this. Because my favorite color is yellow. And plus, we're going to have to keep this car for the A-Spec version of this event anyway. So I might as well just get it in the color that I like. Ah. Okay. <laughs> A message for noodles. So there's our Lamborghini and... Before we do anything in terms of tuning, let's go to the event itself and see what the performance points are like for the other cars. And we don't want to do any permanent modifications like en like the engine um, upgrades or anything like that because obviously we're going to use this car, we're going to use it stock in our A-Spec playthrough. So, Expert Series. Gallardo Trophy. 8 laps or 11 laps around Rome, wow. About to go on a bit of an upload spree, record three UFC videos tonight. Nice, dude. Can't wait to see them. So 557 performance points. That could be stock. That might be a stock setup. I don't know. Let's check. So I don't want to do any permanent upgrades, like I said. So I'm going to avoid the engine tuning. Okay, that is not stock. <laughs> So let's buy everything that we can easily remove. And one more thing, no commentaries kind of gave me one to watch without comments because the game leads itself. To it you never know what's going to happen it is mma definitely a dynamic game oh that's cool dude um i'm not good at fighting games like you know i'm not good at street fighter i'm not good at like wwe i'm not good at ufc the only fighting game that i could play is smash brothers that's it <laughs> that's like the only one i'm good at but hey you know that's still cool dude all right so this is an Italian event, of course, because it's Lamborghini, and we'll have the Italian-American driver do his first race with us and prove what he's made of. Alexander Rossi. Let's go get him in the seat. So yeah, as expected, it's a spec Gallardo series. We might be a little bit overpowered, but you know what? I remember this event, I remember this event being hell back in the day. So, I don't care. <laughs> Thanks, Tosh. Neither am I. I'm ungodly trash and injust as a Street Fighter. UFC is classified as sports simulation, I believe. But yeah, sports games in general can be tricky. Yeah, they are. They definitely are. These two dudes from Castlevania for Smash already? What about them? <laughs> I don't see any Belmonts in the race. So green flag is out. Alexander Rossi just getting behind the train. All Gallardos. 
Now, Rossi has a really cool demeanor. So, I don't really expect him to make ballsy moves. Okay. Two car passes. All right. Three, maybe. Ooh. Rossi proven why he's second in points as of this video recording in the IndyCar standings and proving why he's the Indianapolis 500 champion from two years ago as of this recording as well. So already up to fourth. Also, I'm going to start B-Spec Series soon. This has inspired me. Oh, dude, I'm glad I inspired you. Dude, this is so much fun. Like, I I never thought I'd have this much fun doing B-Spec, honestly. Dude, Rossi is on fire. I seriously can't wait for Nando to start driving. <laughs> Simon Richter join. Oh, I know. I saw the I saw the trailer, dude. I pretty much saw it at seven in the morning, like right my time. Seven in the morning, right when it was live. Saw everything about it. I'm like the biggest Smash fan. Yeah, dude, like, honestly, like, it's fun when you make it fun, you know, like, when you, either when you support your drivers like this, when you try challenging, you know, like, making it challenging by having it kind of like a spec series, or, like, heckling your drivers with your, with your chat, you know, like, that makes it a lot of fun. Like, we just shat on Flynn and Maldonado so much early in the LP. Rossi's driving, is living the high life driving line beginning. Sup, Mikhail? I never got into much when I first started, but streaming it and having real drivers will be super fun. Yeah, dude. It, it's crazy, dude. Like, how much time? Actually, Alexander Rossi only took me, like, six clicks to find. And right when I found him, I was like, oh, my God. I need to, like, let go of the controller, hit the right button on the D-pad, and just say hire a driver or actually change the driver um, skill or whatever. Fernando Alonso took me an hour to find, dude. I spent a whole hour. But the reason why I spent an hour was because I was like, you know what? If UFC veteran can go and spend seven straight days driving in a straight line to get a world record for GT Sport, I can do the same thing with um, putting up with this tedious name search. So the race is kind of calmed down now. Rossi's running P3 right behind Spencer and Dupree. Nothing really new to report right now. A turn three pass for Alexander, possibly. Side by side with Spencer. Can we get the move? Yes, we can. I was terrified I pressed the wrong button when I got the record too. Really didn't want to hit retry. Almost did because I didn't notice the record until I looked it up a bit. <laughs> dude, that's insane. Like, I, dude, I still cannot believe you got the record, man. Good job, bro. Doing good after we went to a car show? Nice, dude. What kind of car show was it? Happy my determination inspired you? Yeah, thank you, dude. Or... Not thank you, but yeah, yeah, in a way, yes, thank you for the inspiration, for being an inspiration. There you go. I think B-Spec from here on is going to be even funner since we have these drivers. Because Flynn and Maldonado were just so bad. And if Rossi's kicking ass right now. Hey, what's up, CK? Awesome job, UFC. The reaction was amazing. Yeah, dude. That reaction was dope. Like, seriously. What a reaction, honestly. Dude, I would have felt the same way. <laughs> Chasing down Dupree. I doubt he's going to be able to pass JDM with some American Europeans. Nice. That's always good. Never had a record in my life. Many more, if you, many more, if any, but I can claim one at least. Yeah, I mean, you know what, dude? You went, you worked for that one, and you worked even harder than most people ever would, dude. You know? And so you have that to be proud of, honestly. Like, think about this. If it was any of us, I guarantee you we'd give up after the first day or even, like, the first hour. 
Hell, dude, I tried going for the 257.3. Honestly, I'll, I'll be, a, I'll admit, not this week, but maybe the first time I found out about your record, or your tied record. And, dude, I tried going for it. I went for like an hour. I was like, nope, I'm, I'm bored. Not bored, but I'm like, nope, I can't do this. <laughs> hey, you guys, not staying for long because I'm going to bed in a bit. All right, man. Sounds good. But, you know, I appreciate you dropping by anyways, just to say hi. Rossi with an outside move? Nope. Can't get the job done just yet. He's going to get him in turn three once again. Nope. Never mind. Rossi's just being patient right now, working his way slowly to the front. You know, that's what I like. I like how Rossi, since he's really cool, he starts to, like, drop his, um, his pressure meter, even when he's tailing the guy. That's awesome. And, you know, dude, Rossi's really good so far. Like, in real life, Alexander Rossi's a really calm and cool driver, but he can get serious and, like, heated, you know, in, like, the right moments. And Rossi's doing the same thing right now. I mean, he tapped the wall, but you know what? I mean, he's doing really well right now. Dupree is pretty good. Every other driver, they're pretty much in a, a race of their own. Spencer's pretty much winning the best of the rest category right now. These two, however, they're just going hard for the win. And we still have a little bit more than half of the race to go. You know, if Rossi falls off, I mean, that's okay because Dupree could calm down a bit. The Lambo does... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Gran Turismo 5. It's GT engine sounds before sport. What do you expect, Noodles? <laughs> oh, man. Let's push a little bit harder, Alexander. You're doing a good job so far, buddy. Perfect. He's maintaining that pace. The needle isn't moving forward or backwards right now. That's exactly what I want. You just love hearing vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Hanging out at the department store, huh? Just sampling every single vacuum. You did a spec MX-5 yesterday. Got second twice without practicing. Nearly bottled it a few times. Nice, dude. That must be nice, huh? When you can be competitive without practice. Although... Right, this is important, buddy, but I wouldn't do it too many times, but yeah. Well, it's ironic. The drivers with the names of the real-life counterparts in the game act a lot like the real driver. I mean, I kind of purposely tweaked them to act like it. So that's why. Oh, they both hit the wall. All right. Doubt I'll, I'm ever going for another speed record, though. It's so mo monotonous after a while, but I suppose I never truly got bored of it. <laughs> Numbass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're sitting there the entire time, probably doing the same movement over and over again. You're probably going to get stiff. But you know what, dude? You went and did it. You got the job done. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Rossi's starting to just close the gap a little bit more. Maybe an overtake into three. No. Oh, he's closing big time. He's closing big time. The sacrifice of your body was worth it. <laughs> I mean, it's your first ever world record, so yeah. Oh, Rossi with the punt on Wiccans. That's not really Wiccans. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It kind of moved them out the way. Excuse me, coming through, buddy. 
Also, since the car show is close to Little Tokyo, check out the shops. No way. How much are they, dude? I might... Or, you know what? You can probably swoop them up yourself. I mean, I don't know. Whoever gets it first. <laughs> yeah, first come, first serve. Good night for me. See y'all later. All right, CK. Thanks for stopping by. At least I got used to it over time. Still uncomfortable, but learned to deal with it a little bit more. That's important. Damn. Rossi just kind of, like, destroyed his front bumper a little bit, but... 17 bucks for both? Eh... I don't know if I pay that much for... At the same time, you know, you do avoid import fees, but I don't know if I pay that much for the Japanese copies. Maybe two, but not necessarily one. But you know what? Rossi's leading. Dupree's second. Let's see what Dupree is feeling right now. He's starting to calm down. Probably realizes that the race is over. Okay, dude. You don't have to. I appreciate it, though. But no, I mean, I do want to go back to Little Tokyo. I love that place. So we got two and a quarter of laps to go. And we just need Rossi to maintain this good pace. Saw initial D for 100 euros due to import fees. Fuck that. I'll pay 20 if I see it in a shop. Dude, yeah, just... I don't know. When it... Oh, on Amazon. Okay, that makes sense. You see, I would get import games from, like, an import shop, you know? Like a, like a Japanese store or something, you know what I mean? Like, avoid paying the fees, and on top of that, you know, you support mom-and-pop shops rather than these scalper fucks on the internet, you know? Oh, pounds. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm... It's nighttime here. I'm... Pretty tired, I'll be honest. Sorry. <laughs> you almost got into a fight? Damn, sorry. I, I misread it. On top of that, I have a microphone in my face, so I have a good excuse, sir. Initially, special station that store was $10. Are you serious? And yeah, a uh, 100 pounds. on eBay. Yeah, screw that. I live in Ireland. This country is already five years behind the times and I have 15 minutes from the nearest proper shop. Ah. I mean, 15 minutes is not bad. It's not that bad, dude. It's still fun to go to shops to go buy stuff, you know? We use euros here, pounds in the UK, but I was on the UK site. Oh, alright, gotcha. Some old guy with dogs cursing at me when all four dogs went for each other. I mean, they're dogs. What the hell do you expect? <laughs> you live in Scotland, the land of the oppressed. <laughs> well, damn, look at the lead Rossi's pulled out. Dupree has gave up, and by giving up, Spencer's in the catch-up. So let's see what happens for second place. Rossi's pretty much won the race already. Um, no. GT2 has two discs because arcade and simulation mode are separate. GT1 has only one disc. But the, the case is bigger because it has two booklets inside. I think. I have to check my Japanese copy. I don't remember. Just in general, there isn't a ton here in terms of small cool shots. Maybe I haven't explored enough. We're oppressed by the damn English. Well, Alexander Rossi coming out of the final corner and wins at Rome in his debut with TMC Motorsports. What an awesome drive from Rossi. Listen to the crowd. Because he, he is Italian. Well, he's an Italian-American, but... But yeah, buddy, cheer to the cr or wave to the crowd, I mean. Winner of the Gallardo Trophy. 36,000. Of course, we don't level up, but it doesn't matter, really. We're going to have to do a lot of level grinding by the time we get to the endurances, but I'm prepared for all of that. 
Hey, real quick, what do you guys think? Post commentary or live commentary for the F1 2018 career mode? Um, depends. I mean, if you're, I would say if you're um, just trying to have fun with it, then um, live commentary. If you're trying to be serious on your playthrough, then post commentary. They couldn't have simulation when it came out. Yep. Added so much to the original. There you go. Lancia Stratos? Can somebody explain why Alancia Stratos is the prize car for this? Like, do Lamborghini and Lancia have, like, a relationship with each other? Like, I'm not mad at this prize. I think it's cool, but... This is kind of a weird prize for a Lamborghini championship, don't you think? That's a standard car. Okay. Monza Red. Alright. Well, we can use this for, like, the European Championship, at least. Yeah. We're doing four races live, doing highlights in short length. Oh, okay. So it'll be fast, and we'll come and see the time. More authentic and raw. True, true. I mean, for me personally, it's just like, well... Commentary, it really depends on what I'm playing. So, like, GT Sport, Sport Mode, I can do commentary. FIA, limited commentary. I racing almost no commentary. Being confused at a price card? Yeah, dude, I'm confused. This... Let's read the description real quick. Let's see if there's any clues here as to why we get a Stratos. Like, is there anything Lamborghini related with this? Because I'm seriously confused. That's like if we did Race of the R Emblem and we won a Honda Civic Type R for doing this uh, GTR championship, you know? Like, that's why I'm confused. Regardless, next time on Gran Turismo 5 B-Spec, we're going to be doing the Gran Turismo World Championship. And our two-time Formula 1 World Champion is going to be making his debut with the team.